While the limelight often shines on wealthy celebrity women like Rihanna or Oprah Winfrey, this video unveils a more private realm of ultra-billionaire women, each commanding a staggering fortune. With a collective net worth approaching an astronomical $500 billion, these women have risen to the pinnacle of wealth, relying on sheer intellect and determination rather than celebrity status. From astute business acumen to unyielding grit, Join us as we unravel the tales of the top 10 richest women in the world and discover how they navigate the vast landscapes of success and affluence. Number 10. Abigail Pierpont Johnson With an estimated net worth of over $22 billion, Abigail Johnson is one of the richest women in the world. She may not be a household name, but her influence reverberates on a global scale. Abigail hails from an illustrious Massachusetts family. Her grandfather, Edward Crosby Johnson II, founded Fidelity Investments, a financial behemoth with assets totaling a staggering $11.8 trillion. Abigail inherited the reins of this multinational financial services corporation, assuming the role of CEO in 2014, succeeding her father, Edward Ned Johnson III. Since then, she has steered the company to new height. Abigail's rise to the summit of corporate success wasn't handed to her. She diligently climbed the ladder at Fidelity Investments, starting from answering phones during her high school days. Over her 26-year tenure, she honed her understanding of the company's intricacies, gradually assuming more significant roles. Today, as the CEO, President, and Chairwoman of Fidelity Investments, as well as the Chair of Fidelity International, she presides over a vast empire with 45,000 employees worldwide. Number 9. Iris Balbina Fontbona Gonzalez Iris Fontbona was born in 1942 and leads a captivating life that took a dramatic turn when she met Andronico Luxica Baroa, the Chilean magnate and founder of Luxic Group, at the age of 17. Despite a 15-year age difference, they fell in love and Iris, at 20, became Andronico's wife. Andronico, one of Chile's richest individuals at the time, passed away in 2005, catapulting Fonbona into immense wealth. Alongside her three sons, Guillermo, Jean Paul, and Andronico, she commands control over Antifagasta, Luxic Group's mining arm, one of the world's largest mining companies, and other significant ventures. While having a net worth of $24 billion, she maintains a low profile, dividing her time between Chile, London, and Liechtenstein. Despite her attempts to stay out of the limelight, Fontbona is recognized for her philanthropic endeavors. In 2015, she donated a record-breaking $3.9 million to the Chilean Telephone, supporting children with physical disabilities. The following year, she surpassed her own generosity, contributing an impressive $5.5 million, setting a new record for the charity event. Number 8. Suzanne Clatton Suzanne Clatton is a German businesswoman and one of the richest women in the world, and has forged her own path in the corridors of industry and finance. Born Suzanne Hannah Ursula Quant in 1962, she is the daughter of Herbert and Johanna Quant, notable figures in the German business landscape. Clatton's story takes a significant turn as she inherits a substantial stake in the family-owned conglomerate, Altana Ag, and the luxury car manufacturer, BMW. She holds a significant interest in Altana, a global specialty chemical company, and is a major shareholder in BMW. Beyond the family businesses, Clatton has diversified her portfolio with investments in renewable energy, making her a key player in the German industrial landscape. Suzanne Clatton has an estimated net worth of $24 billion, solidifies her position as one of the wealthiest women globally. Despite her substantial wealth, Suzanne Clatton is known for maintaining a private and low-key lifestyle. Number 7. Rafaela Pont Diamond Rafaela Pont Diamond is the richest self-made billionaire woman in the world, according to Forbes' 2023 billionaires list. She is an influential figure in the maritime industry and stands as one of the richest women in the world, contributing significantly to the success of Mediterranean Shipping Company, the world's largest shipping line. Born in Italy, she is the co-founder, along with her husband Gianluigi Aponte of MSC, one of the world's largest privately owned shipping companies. The two of them entered the shipping industry together in 1970 when they purchased a ship with a $200,000 loan. Their second ship bought was named after Rafaela. Despite her low-key public profile, Rafaela has played a pivotal role in shaping MSC's trajectory to become a major force in global shipping. With an estimated net worth of $32 billion, the 78-year-old woman's fortune is attributed to her 50% stake in the Mediterranean Shipping Company. 
the other half is owned by her husband. Number 6. Gina Hope Reinhardt With an estimated net worth of $33 billion, Gina Reinhardt is a powerhouse in the world of mining and industry and emerges as a formidable figure among the world's richest women. Born in Perth, Australia, in 1954, Reinhardt's life took a transformative course when she inherited her father's mining empire, Hancock Prospecting. Taking the reins of Hancock Prospecting, a mineral exploration and extraction company, Gina transformed it into the largest private company in Australia. From a net worth of $50 million in the early 90 seconds, the company's revenue surged to an astonishing $7 billion by recent times, showcasing Reinhardt's business prowess. Under her leadership, the company evolved into a major player, contributing significantly to Australia's mining sector. Gina Reinhardt's business empire extends beyond mining, with Hancock Prospecting owning 50% of Hope Downs, a lucrative iron ore mining complex in eastern Australia. Her diverse portfolio also includes being Australia's second largest cattle producer, solidifying her as the single largest landholder in the country. Reinhardt's intelligence and diligence have earned her recognition as one of the world's most powerful women and a repeated mention on Forbes' list of the world's richest women. Number 5. Miriam Adelson Miriam Adelson is an Israeli-American physician who brings a unique narrative to the world of wealth and influence. Her journey began with a medical degree from Tel Aviv University's Sackler Medical School after serving as a medical officer during her mandatory army service in Israel. Her life took a turn when she met Sheldon Adelson, a billionaire businessman who owned the Las Vegas Sands Corporation. She married Sheldon in 1991 and inherited the casino company upon his passing in 2021 propelling her into the ranks of the world's richest individuals. As the majority owner of the Las Vegas Sands, Miriam Adelson commands more than half of the gambling empire, overseeing operations in Nevada, Singapore, and Macau. Beyond her role in the casino industry, she is the publisher of the newspaper Israel Hayam and serves on the board of trustees at the University of Southern California. With an estimated net worth of $35 billion, Miriam Adelson has consistently earned a prominent place on Forbes' lists of the world's richest people. While supporting charitable causes, she and Sheldon donated around $180 million to Republican campaigns and political action committees in 2020. Miriam's influence extends to political spheres, having been credited with shaping her late husband's political views on Israel and financially backing the inauguration of former President Donald Trump. Her notable contributions have earned her recognition, including an honorary citizenship of Jerusalem and the Presidential Medal of Freedom awarded by Donald Trump in 2018. Number 4. Jacqueline Mars If you are a fan of M&M, Three Musketeers Bar, Snickers, Dove Chocolate, and Milky Way, you have unknowingly contributed a dollar to the wealth of this very rich woman. Jacqueline Mars is a woman whose name resonates with the sweet tooth in all of us and stands as one of the world's wealthiest individuals, Thanks to her association with the iconic American candy company, Mars Incorporated. Born into the Mars family, Jacqueline inherited a significant legacy as the daughter of Audrey and Forrest Mars SR, and the granddaughter of Frank C. Mars, the company's founder. Her estimated one-third ownership of Mars Inc. positions her as a major shareholder in the world's largest candy maker, with popular brands like Skittles, Twix, and Milky Way under its umbrella. Jacqueline Mars actively contributed to Mars Incorporated for nearly four decades, from 1982 when she joined as the Food Product Group president until her retirement in 2001. Even after stepping down, she continued to serve on the company's board until 2016. With a net worth of $38.3 billion, she holds the distinction of being one of the world's richest women, enjoying a comfortable retirement as Forbes listed her as the wealthiest resident in Virginia in 2019. Beyond her association with the candy empire, Jacqueline Mars directs her energies toward various interests. She serves on the board of the National Archives, was a former board member of the Washington National Opera, and the National Sporting Library at Fine Arts Museum, and is a trustee of the U.S. equestrian team. Notably, she owns a working organic farm, dedicated in perpetuity by the Land Trust of Virginia, showcasing her commitment to both environmental stewardship and philanthropy. Number 3. Alice Walton Alice Louise Walton is the sole daughter of Walmart's founder, Sam Walton, and is the first in line to inherit a wealth that will make her one of the richest women in the world. While inheriting a considerable fortune, Alice exceeded expectations by making a name for herself beyond the Walmart empire. Initially working at Walmart after graduating from Trinity University, Alice embarked on a diverse career path. 
she tried her hand at brokerage, later becoming an equity analyst and money manager. In 1988, she founded an investment bank named Llama Company, inspired by an actual llama her mother received as a present. As the president, chairwoman, and CEO of Llama Company, Alice became the first person to chair the Northwest Arkansas Council, contributing significantly to the development of the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport. After the bank's closure in 1998, she redirected her focus to family and horses, relocating to her 3,200-acre Rocking W Ranch in Texas, renowned for horse breeding. Retiring with a net worth of about $57.4 billion, Alice Walton was listed as the 19th richest person and the third richest woman globally, according to Bloomberg Billionaires Index. Despite residing mainly in Texas, Alice remained connected to her roots in Bentonville, Arkansas, where she satisfied her love for art by founding the Crystal Bridges Museum of American Art in 2005. Known for her art acquisitions, she purchased a painting worth $35 million and continued to invest in various artworks. Number 2. Julia Cock Julia Margaret Flesher Cock's remarkable journey into immense wealth and influence began with a blind date in 1991 that would ultimately lead to her marriage to David Cock, the billionaire businessman. After a less than favorable first impression, their paths crossed again, sparking a relationship that culminated in marriage in 1996. The Cox had three children together, David J.R., Mary Julia, and John Mark. Tragically, David Cox passed away in 2019, leaving Julia and their children with a substantial stake of 42% in Cox Industries, the second largest privately held company in the United States. Cox Industries, based in Wichita, Kansas, operates as a multinational conglomerate involved in various sectors, including petroleum, chemicals, energy, fiber intermediates, minerals, finance, and more. Julia, as a key figure in the company, owns subsidiaries like Flint Hills Resources, Georgia Pacific, Guardian Industries, and Infor. With a workforce of 122,000 people in 60 countries, Koch Industries is a major player in the global business landscape. Beyond her corporate role, Julia is the president of the David H. Koch Foundation and has made substantial contributions to institutions such as the Lincoln Center, the Metropolitan Museum of Art, and the Smithsonian Museum of Natural History. With a net worth of $59 billion, Julia Koch consistently ranks among the top 10 richest women globally. And finally at number 1. Francois Betancourt Mayers. Francois Betancourt Mayers, the Elorial heiress, might prefer to stay out of the limelight, but her recent achievements are impossible to ignore. Just in December 2023, she crossed a historic threshold, becoming the first woman ever to amass a $100 billion fortune. She currently holds the title of richest woman in the world and sits comfortably as the 12th richest person overall. She is not only a billionaire but also a multifaceted individual known for her roles as a writer, pianist, and philanthropist. As the heiress to the Elorial Beauty Empire, a renowned French personal care company founded by her grandfather, Eugene Schuler, Francois inherited a substantial fortune from her mother, Lillian Battencourt, the former main shareholder. After her mother died in 2017, Francois's fortune tripled, reaching new heights through strategic investments made by her family holding company, Tethys Invest and the high valuation of Elorial shares. Despite her immense wealth, Francois leads a discreet life away from the public eye. Known for her simplicity, she enjoys public spaces like French parks and abstains from using private jets for travel. Her passions lie in literature and art, reflecting a life that is seemingly unaffected by the vast fortune she controls. Francois's philanthropic activities are carried out through the Betancourt Schuler Foundation, where she serves as president. The foundation awards the Betancourt Prizes for young researchers in science or medicine, supporting postgraduate studies. Additionally, the Betancourt Prize Coupe de Long Pour la Recherche Francaise recognizes and rewards biomedical research laboratories for their contributions. Francois has also supported projects in neuroscience, autism research, and invested in craft companies.